Eight teams will go through and be showered with praise. Eight teams will go home as losers and be booed at the airport. It's time for Gold Cup predictions. Okay, well, welcome back to Very Biased Opinions. Gold Cup predictions, baby. We are into the final round of Gold Cup predictions. And let me tell you, almost every single group is decided, and there's still a series of terrible things. Oh, it's so there. tense. So tense. But before we start, let's add a bit more anxiety to the situation. Ian, try and run through the house. Oh, I wanted to just jump straight into it. I can't wait any longer. But thank you very much for supporting our channel. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit a like on this video. It helps us a hell of a lot. Please leave comments below. We welcome any comments, no matter how good or how bad you think that we are. Let us know about it. Up above my head, you can see our social media links. This man works incredibly hard on our social media, so please go and support us on there as well. Thank you to Grandstand Betters, as always, for supporting our channel. And without further ado, and no more hot dogging, let's just dive into the very first match. Canada versus Cuba. So Group A, there still is some stuff to be decided. Uh, Canada lost to Mexico in their second game, expectedly. Um, so they will need to win this one. I think they will win this one. I'm going for a solid 2-0 win. I'm going to go 4-0. Cuba have been pretty useless. They've already shipped 10 goals. I know 7 were to Mexico, but I think Canada are going to control this When you game. also ship 3 to Martinique, you're not, you're not that shit hot, are you? Um, <laughs> next match, Martinique. Speaking of Martinique, Martinique versus Mexico. 6-0 to Mexico, Martinique to just get absolutely whipped in this one. I don't think you need to say a whole lot more. They're not a great side. Canada's already banked for Boston. The game against Cuba, obviously, was pretty easy for them, but... That, no. that, they probably went into this tournament thinking if we can win the game against Cuba, you know, Canada and Mexico are always going to be a step up oh, for yeah. them. 5-0 Mexico. Sorry, about to beat fans. Did I go with? You went with 6, I think. Sounds good. Moving on to Group B, where we have... Bermuda versus Nicaragua. I thought the laughter, all the laughter I thought would come out. Why, why, what's so funny about that game? Bermuda and Nicaragua, look at the table. If, you, if I said you were going to go all Zero in, points and zero points. If I, if I said that I'd paid for us to go on a lovely holiday to Bermuda or Nicaragua, you'd be happy, wouldn't you? I uh, mainly Bermuda. Not sure about Nicaragua, I know nothing about it. Tell me about it in the comments. <laughs> uh, so, um, this game, I think that these two sides are they haven't won a game yet, they lost both their games, they're eliminated from the tournament, but what do you think? Bermuda 2, Nicaragua 1. Um, I'll just go reverse, I'll just go 2-1 Nicaragua. But the big one in this one is the next game. Haiti versus Costa Rica. Yeah, so both these sides have qualified, it's just a matter to see who wins the group and probably who avoids Mexico, which is probably the bigger deal for both of them. Um, as we've said throughout this tournament, Costa Rica are probably the third best team in it. Yeah. I will say they will win this one. But well done for Haiti for qualifying, by the way. Costa Rica will win this one by three goals to one. I'm going to go three goals to nil. Okay. Moving on to Group C, where this is another group that's still everything's up in the air. First match is Jamaica versus Curacao. Who thought this would be an exciting game? But this is going to decide Me. a lot of stuff in this Me. group. Me. I guess, obviously. I, I penciled it in. January the 1st, I 2000 and fun. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and move on from that. Uh, this one's being played in LA. Uh, it's a big game. But Why is it being time, played in LA if Jamaica are hosts? Not, not <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, I got Jamaica winning this one. Curse hour, still curse hour, crack hour, Kirk, 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 yeah, whatever the drink is. Uh, I got Jamaica winning this one, two goals to nil. Yeah, I was very surprised Jamaica drew nil nil in their game with El Salvador. I think that was a really Really poor, poor result. Yeah, really poor result for them. Um, I think they'll win this one. I don't think there'll be a lot in this. I'm going to say 1 0 Jamaica. Fair. These results are not very exciting no. for us so far. But let's talk about a really exciting match now Honduras versus El Salvador. Do you know what I'm really annoyed about? Is what? spending two hours doing extensive notes on Honduras. Go and check them out in our first video and them to perform as badly as this. <laughs> you did have extensive notes. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, Honduras have been. Unexpectedly bad oh, in this tournament. Been terrible. Yeah, for a side that I think qualified for the World Cup 2014. Yeah, and that's that is still a long time ago. But still, you would expect better. Um, what do you reckon oh. in this one, then, Tom? 
You know what? I've got El Salvador winning this one. Uh, two goals to one. Yeah, I'm going to go different on you. I'm, going to, I'm just going to think Honduras will get the win in this one. I think the final game, I think Honduras will win this 2-1. be really exciting if Curaçao and Honduras won because Jamaica would drop to second and Curaçao would go top. Yeah. It would be pretty cool. Well, pretty cool. But we move on to Group D where everything is done and dusted apart from who comes top and who comes second and who comes third and who comes fourth. But apart from that, it's all done and dusted. As we start with Trinidad and Tobago versus Guyana. Well, Guyana got whipped last night. Well, so did, so did Trinidad. Yep. Both sides They've heavy defeats. Both been whipped, but it's okay because they're playing in Kansas, the home of fun. <laughs> uh, I think I've got Pan uh, Panama winning this one. I think I've got Trinidad and Tobago winning this one, but it's honestly a coin flip. In fact, no, you know what? One all draw. I would love it if this was Caribbean Premier League and it was these two sides going at it in the cricket yeah. because it would be an absolute belter of a game. I don't think this would be a belter of a game, oh. but I think I am going to pick the Trinidad and Tobago Red Steel, as they're known in the cricket terms, to win by two goals to nil against the Amazon Warriors of Guyana. Sensational. But enough of that, Tom, because it's time for the main event. Panama versus the United States of America. Mercy me in Mercy Park. So, the United States juggernaut won 6 0 last night. Boom! Did you even watch it? Was Pass. It, <laughs> wasn't it at like 3 a.m. or something? Oh, it was I caught the highlights on the Espen. Okay. Yeah, they did, they, they did well. They were impressive. Yeah. But, um, this should be a really good test for them, though, I reckon. This yeah. Should, um, no, Panama, Panama are a step up from Trinidad and Guyana. Um, well, Panama. What, qualified for the World Cup over the U.S. Yes, in qualifying, so I think the U.S. are going to have a bit of a chip on the shoulder on this, tr truthfully. I think that it's not a huge different U.S. side that didn't qualify for the World Cup. I think that they're working a lot with psychologists and stuff to try and get their mindset back and win some games. Do you know that for, is, are they, are that a fact, is it? Or is that yeah, just, yeah, as far as I know, okay. yeah. And I think that um, I think the U.S. are going to beat Panama by about 4-0. I think that they're going to go all out in this, and I think Panama are probably going to get sending off. Do we do bonus points anymore? <laughs> for a change? No, I'm not giving you a bonus point for a Panama red card. What if that's, I like say, a, what, that's like a, 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 a 75% chance? chance of it what, happening. What, what if I say it's a Torres red card? Okay, if Roman Torres gets sent off, I, I will give you... Not that you need it, no. but I will no, give I'm, you a bonus point. You, you are quite right endless. But, um, yeah, USA have played this tournament all the way through with a chip in their shoulder in yeah. their two games. But they did have some crappy pre-qualifying, uh, what's the word, some crappy results. Pre-tournament. Pre-tournament, yeah. uh, thank you for warm taking that. Yes, in the warm-up, but you know, they can put that down to just being warm-ups. That being said, I'm gonna carry on my trend from the first two games. Get your hats on, Panama. 1-0 winners. Nobody likes you. I know, 